Well, guys, how's everybody out there doing today in the YouTube world? Holy smokes! What the hell is this? Bitch ass. What's this ugly motherfucker doing in my video? Oh, God. <laughs> this is gay. <laughs> it's truly gay. <laughs> so, I was going to say. What? What were you going to say? I was going to say, get to bring that camera over here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Up close and personal. What's everybody think about Andy's red car? My red car is pretty awesome. But my red car is also broken. <laughs> that's pretty much what this video is about. So, a little story. I was driving this thing around. I'll tell Nick this at the same time. I was driving this car around, Nick, and I was having a great time with it. I loved it. It was, it was fucking awesome. It was chirping second gear. I was having a great time. I bet you were. I was, it, was a, it was a great, great time. So, I end up going home. Tuesday, I guess it was. I go home Tuesday, and I park the car. I go inside. I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to shower. I'm going to go out and get some dinner, have a Not drink, whatever. I know, right? Seriously, <laughs> it, it, that, very rarely it doesn't happen. Um, almost every day, you know? So I come outside. It's when we had that big storm. I come outside. I go to start it up, and I hear a clunk and nothing. It's just like, ran, ran. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> so it's raining. I'm, now I'm all, like, clean and dressed. And I'm crawling underneath this damn car to figure out what's going on. And I noticed that the starter has fallen off the block. What? <laughs> you know, How does right? that even happen? Well, that's what I'm going to explain. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I found out, and I'll show everybody this right now. And this is why we have another starter sitting here. Is on these LS1 starters, they had a little issue with this ear breaking off. Guess it would be right here, like so. Oh my God! Look at that thing. It's really thin. It's not very thick at all. It would break off, and what would happen is when it would break off, it would twist the starter. The next time you go to start it, and it would literally break the bolt that's in here. It goes up into the boss of the block. It would break that boss completely off of the block as well, and hence why the starter falls out of the car. So wait, now you have a. Now a piece of your block is missing. There's, well, I, I thought it was missing. Okay. I found it on the ground when I got it towed back to the shop. So well, I did you, find the piece. you found it, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so you've seen the starters, uh, you know, how it was broke and all that stuff. So basically, I'm going to show you how we fixed it. Um, we didn't weld the bung back on. Well, let's get under here. Because <laughs> it's on the ground, because my lift is busy. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. You might be able to see it up there. You might not be able to see it up there. I don't know. Uh, it's not too lighty up there. But basically what we did was it wasn't a big piece that was broken off, thankfully. So all we did was we went ahead and JB welded it really, 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 really good. We prepped it real good and uh, all that stuff. And I know a lot of you guys out there are going to freak out. A lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, that's such a that's the wrong way of fixing that. You should have never done it that way. It's just going to break again. And that's fine. Uh, this is a temporary fix as of right now. I just don't have the time. This fix right here is going to work just fine. So I'm not very concerned about it. And the thing is, if it does end up breaking in the future, I'll just end up getting it welded regardless. Plus, the plan for this car, honestly, you know, for it not being welded, this motor's not staying in this car, just so you guys know for future reference. This motor is a temporary motor. It has 200,000 miles on it. It's not going to last long with what I'm doing, uh, which we'll see here in a minute. It's not going to last long at all anyways. It does involve uh, uh, pressure, if you want to call it that. <laughs> A stock 5.3 or a stock 6.0 in this car, um, you know, in the future, and more than likely, probably after the October 28th event as well. So, well, I gotta get the starter in so I can get this thing running. So, hopefully, it works. Well, guys, Trans Am is fixed. The starter seems to be working just fine. <laughs> oh, that second gear chirp, man. I cannot get enough of that. Uh, so, we just got done with uh, Barker's powder coating in uh, Akron, PA here, guys. I had some parts down there that they were uh, powder coating for me. And once we get back to the shop, I will show you... Here's a Mustang. Once we get back to the shop... God, you know I love these T-tops, guys. Oh, my God. These T-tops are fucking amazing. I, I miss T-tops. My uh, 98... What the hell's going on down here? I guess kids are being let off from school and stuff. Yeah, that's what's going on. Guess we gotta stop. 
I know, not cracked dash. Isn't that something? So, on my 98, my 98 had T-tops, my 98 formula, and this is an 01, and it has T-tops too, and my God, I'll tell you what, if there is anything I missed about my uh, Firebird formula, it was the T-tops. I really, really miss the T-tops. It's kind of like, you know, having a convertible, but not being gay. It was pretty cool. Really enjoying these T-tops right now. So anyways, we just got done with Barker's powder coating here in Acro PA. He had some parts uh, that he was powder coating for, uh, you know, the shop, I guess you can kind of say. And uh, we just picked those up. Now, when we get back to the shop, I'll show you what they are. You can probably see the one thing. It's a uh, really big pipe. Maybe you can guess what it's for. I don't know. But once we get back to the shop, you'll know. God, I love this car. Damn. And we have a bus stop. All right, guys, we're back at the shop. And as you probably notice, I have a different shirt on. And I look a little bit cleaner. And the reason being for that is uh, I was making the video today. And I realized that this part of the video that I'm about to tell you, actually, uh, the audio was went to crap. So I figured I'm going to come up here and, and do it again for you guys. But um, basically, you know, we got the starter and it's been run. I've been, I drove it all last night. Um, it's working. It's functioning fine. There is two little spots on the flywheel. Two little teeth that are kind of nicked. So, you know, every so often if I hit that, uh, the starter will, won't catch it. It'll spin free, and then I have to turn the motor a little bit and make it, make it hit it. But other than that, that's not a big deal to me. I can, I can live with that. It, it's working great. I'm very, very happy. Before I show you what all those pipes were... Oh, I got a little smudge in my thing here. Got it. Um, before I show you the, uh, the piping that was in the car and why I have that piping, we're going to do a little mail time because I ended up going to the post office yesterday night and i got this little thing in the mail and it's from a guy named austin merchant and there's a b right there get out of here b and it says read it to you guys hey andy my name is austin merchant i've been watching yours and mike's channel for a long time and i've always enjoyed every video so a big thank you to both you guys for awesome videos over this past month i recently picked up a pap cap for my truck fucking awesome originally just to use when we go out camping as I'm the designated shitholer. But as of recent, I've become quite fond of my cap and decided to leave it on until after winter, possibly longer. But after watching your video, bedlining your bed truck, when you were explaining about why you love your pap, it made me realize that all those reasons were the same reasons I like mine so much as well. So I decided to have some custom decals made up for those of us loving the pap cap lifestyle. I had them made by a local company that have done some other decals for me a while back. I included their company logo decal and their business cards as well. Deuces, bud. So here's the company. It's uh, TJ Baker Designs right there. And then these are the stickers. And he made me a whole bunch of them. I, I tell you what, these I am going to put this on the truck too. Uh, no question about it. But uh, yeah, Pap Cap Lifestyle. So that will be going on the truck. Thank you very much, boss. If you guys do want to send me any uh, fan mail or anything of that nature, go ahead. Check it out in the description, P.O. Box 303, Leola, PA, 17540. All that information will be down there. So let's talk about that pipe that was in the man. This shop's a freaking mess. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, let's talk about the pipe piping that was in the truck. So, you know, I was telling you guys that uh, the, the car's not going to stay stock. It's, you know, I'm planning on doing a 5.3 or 6.0 liter engine in it. Um, but we're going to work with the 5.7 as of right now. And... You know, the one thing I, I decided I'm going to do just because I have it readily available is, yeah, that's it. I'm going to put a fucking turbocharger on it, guys. This is an on three. I think it's a billet back, 78 millimeter, 96 hot side, open housing, turbo. Um, <laughs> and the pipe here that you see in the back is a side exit pipe. It's going to come right out of the bumper right there. <laughs> which is going to be awesome and then i have all my uh exhaust piping now this is not like a uh 100 awesome kit like you know this could have all there's a lot of things here that could have been done better but you know what i had this kit sitting under this table for about six months and i didn't know what to do with it so when i got this car i decided you know what i've got the kit i've got the fuel injectors i pretty much got everything i need everything every little part except for fuel pumps to put this kit on that car 
and make this thing make some decent power. So that's what we're going to do. So within the next few weeks or weekends, um, I'll probably be getting the few little lines that I need and, uh, you know, the fuel pumps that I need and stuff of that nature. And, uh, you know, we're going to be installing this kit. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm expecting to make, you know, five, 600 horsepower on, on moderate boost. And we are going to be running methanol as well. There is the video for today. You know what's going to happen to the Trans Am. Can you see me? I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay you guys can see me. Nah, I, I, sometimes the light is weird, you yeah, know what no, I mean? You're good. So I just want to make sure the light's good. There's good old Dirty Max Jack there. Go check Out him takes. out. Outtakes! Outtakes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there you go, guys. The, the Trans Am for now is running good. Nothing wrong with it. Turbo system, all done, ready to rock and roll. I actually have a reason to use this thing now. And it's going on the car, guys. And it's going to be on the car for the October 28th YouTube call-out. So it's going to be down there. Hopefully it doesn't blow up before or during. Maybe after. I'll be okay with that because then I'll just put a 5.3 or 6.0 in it and we'll be good to go. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys.